teaching kids to stand up for justice what, and mercy. What, what church do you go to? We're, we're, we belong I to the... I know all about rape. Yeah. So... What church do you go to? Is it on here? You can have it. No, well, we... we I want to know what church you go to. Well, we're part of the church. We don't actually go to a church. So, um, but, you know, we go to many churches. Mm -hmm. So... So you'll, like, go around to all the high schools? Yeah. Yeah. And the churches and town squares and... You know, I'm pro life so. too. I just find this really disgusting and I, I hate this every single year. And I was so glad that my daughter was actually reading me something at the time that y'all came around, that we uh -huh. drove around so she didn't have to look at your disgusting posters. Yeah, it is disgusting. I agree. But we should make it illegal, right? Like the pro life movement wants to regulate when, where, and how you mm -hmm. can and can't kill babies. They never try to make it illegal. So what we're trying to do is we're actually trying to make it illegal. So you can check us out. You're just trying to scare kids into no, not, it does prom's coming up. And it, we're not, not trying to scare abortions. anybody. And I get it. We're not I get it. We're trying to educate because they lie. Planned Parenthood is in this school, mm -hmm. right? And they're helping girls get abortions and they're saying that, hey, it's just a blob of cells. You know, we can fix the problem by eliminating the problem, you know, mm -hmm. stuff like that. So we're trying to show them what the problem is. It's actually a human being. Like all children were created in the image of God. And, Why don't you just buy a billboard like everybody else? Well, because we believe that like being personally involved is important and be able but to communicate. Where, where y'all stand, nobody can talk to y'all. No, they talk to us. Right. I, a pro-choice girl came out here that said, my body, my choice, um, stood out there with a sign. And we have a my body, my choice uh, pamphlet that we gave her to explain that actually the body inside her body is not her body. It's somebody else's body. It has right. different I DNA. So the Abolitionist Society of Little Elm, we're right here in Little Elm. And um, you said you've seen us do this for four years. Yeah, so, I'm really sick of it. You know, yeah. So Next year I won't be coming this way because she's yeah. finally graduating and the years before um my knees were so bad that i couldn't actually get out of my car and walk yeah and i've since had a, a double knee replacement and i've recovered and now i can awesome walk, praise god. god yeah and you know and i'm like you know what this year i can walk I, i'm gonna go talk to those guys because i'll tell you as a parent mm -hmm. and i raised a good girl and and she um to my knowledge of course to my knowledge you know she she she's good she's doing good i know not all kids are good i right. get that i just find i just feel like you don't need the the ugly posters right i really don't do. i, I don't feel like lives. you need that they, you, yeah. they, they i don't know lives. that they i don't believe that well i've had two two girls from this school say that they're not going to have an abortion now because they've seen the imagery and got and read the pamphlets you know it is the number one cause of death in texas over sixty thousand babies every single year and that's not including plan b or you know the abortifacient um, drugs that you can take two months after you're pregnant, right? Um, it doesn't include IVF. It doesn't include uh, abortifacient birth control, where you actually get pregnant, and then what happens is the lining thins out, and the baby can't stick to the womb. So then it, it you know, so stuff like that. So it's probably more like 150,000 every year in Texas alone, right? So we're just trying to bring awareness to it, and the kids are great. Like the kids will talk to us, they'll take the literature. None of them go by and go, oh my gosh, and freak out. Now there are, there have been some girls that have had abortions that like, I could see it hurts them mm -hmm. because they're dealing with, they, ki they killed their own child, right? So, but we talked to them about Christ and how, you know, even a woman that has murdered her own child can be redeemed. Like our God is so good that if you repent of it, I understand you know? that. I'm just saying as a parent, I really beyond hate this yeah. because I know y'all stand here on, on the little sidewalk so that you're legally okay. And then the cops are even right there this time. Um, they weren't the other times. And, uh... Well, the cops all know me. Huh? The cops all know me. We don't break the law. I, I know. Because I called the, when she was a freshman. I called. I was so yeah. beyond mad. mad. <laughs> and, and they're like, well, oh, you... yeah, no, we are aware of it. The cops get lots of phone calls yeah. every time y'all come out. Yeah. And, um... Because it they agitates people. They may not me. come and confront y'all, but I can assure you, based on that phone call I made to the cops, yeah. that y'all do. Because they're well, like, oh, we're well aware that they're there. Does this agitate you that we're doing this? You know, it doesn't bother me that you're doing it. It bothers me that you're showing these disgusting pictures 
And then this year y'all brought the kids out. I don't like that. Well, we bring the kids that, out every that's year. That's like, really like, whoa, are you yeah. kidding me? Why do you think that kids can't see these images and use the images to educate other people? Why is that wrong in your opinion? We are, I don't feel like this is the place. And it definitely, I, do, I, it's all, it's, I think it's disgusting. It's definitely, these, these people are going to murder their children in the future. So this could deter them from doing that because they could, they could get I pregnant, right? I believe that you believe and, that. And then later on, when they get pregnant, they're going to think about those people they saw outside those their high school and those terrible I images. And they're going to think, so. yeah, that's abortion. I don't want to do that. And that's that could true. turn them away from murder. I believe that okay? you believe that. I don't believe that. Well, it's, it's pretty, like... You have to acknowledge that is something that could happen. You know, it's not unreasonable could to think that. Could it happen? Of course it could okay, so happen. Let's, let's, let's but it's use not the, likely. Let's use the, all the weapons in our arsenal well, to fight this battle. One mm -hmm. third of all women will have an abortion in America. Mm -hmm. One third. Right. And it is disgusting, right? No, 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 no. No, yes. they were not raped. Well, it depends on your, yeah. what your definition of rape is. Um, being forced to have sex against your will yeah so like a, a, a lot of married a lot of married women would say hey you know i have to have sex with my husband i'm being i don't want to have sex with my husband you know i'm I, it's oh, rape I'm, right is that what you're talking about no okay good I'm talking about actual forcible okay. rape well they say <laughs> planned parenthood says it's a little bit of a compromise <laughs> <laughs> okay so um but i think it's uh Guttenmacher, um actually planned parenthood's um statistics that it's like less than less than 1% of women who have abortions are raped. It's all, usually always done for convenience, all right? So in other words, a high school girl gets pregnant and she wants to finish her education without the burden of having a child. And so she'll sacrifice that child so she can have an unhindered education. Or a college girl, that's what happens. Or a mom, and you know, more women are aborted than boys because women will have like two or three girls and then she gets pregnant again and they want a boy and it's a girl so they'll abort it because they want a they want a boy. I think that's a highly unusual. No, no, no. It happens. You, no, I didn't say it didn't happen. Yeah. No. I, I don't think that that's the the typical. It's not. But, it's but not the norm. Still, but it does happen because women can find out what kind of baby it is, a male or a female. And if it's a female in our society, females have less value than men. Much every society. Right, and that's wrong. It is wrong because we're all created in the image much of God. Every society. Right, but it but it's it's wrong. I look at China, please. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So and and so we all agree the signs are disgusting, right? And so they what, are, and I don't appreciate right. seeing them when you know I'm trying to have a good last minute with my daughter on my on her way to school because you know she's involved in the school. I don't yeah. see her a lot, and then so. Uh, so as soon as I see you guys, well, this time I didn't have to. She was already reading me something. I tried to distract her just so she didn't even see y'all signs. Yeah. You know, she's only seen y'all signs once out of the four years. I've seen them all four years. Yeah. And it's like, well, don't, don't be self-centered. You know, don't think about yourself. Think about the babies who are going to be saved when people see these images. Think about that. Yeah, because okay. they think abortion is just a procedure in a nice, clean building, you know, mm -hmm. in and out, no big deal. Right? That's what they think. But if you go to the abortion clinics and watch these girls go in knowing they're killing their child and then hobble out after they had the abortion, it is a horrible, spiritually dark, wicked, it, it, yeah, wicked it, thing. There's nothing pretty about it. So we want them to see how horrible it. it is before they even contemplate it. Because mm -hmm. we see all these 16-year-old girls coming into the abortion clinic that we'd rather come here and talk them out of it first before you know i get it i so. get it i just i don't like it i yeah. never did like it well, we don't like it don't like we don't it. like it either like, <laughs> i don't like I just, it either i i think i wish that y'all were somewhere where people could actually have a second to talk to you and then and the the, the, the posters i'm not i'm not against the message I really hate those posters. You don't like the it's tactic. It's disgusting. I don't like the tactic. You don't like That's the tactic. That's what it is. I yeah. don't like it. I think it's yeah. disgusting. But all we have to do is make it illegal. Like, work to help us make it. You don't have to do what we do. Oh, I'm not. But, but <laughs> do. I don't believe in it, so I wouldn't. So, I wouldn't so do things. Do things to help make it illegal. You don't have to carry it. We're not asking you to do what we do. Uh, We're just I'm asking not. you to be activated mm -hmm. and Christ like mm -hmm. and defend the innocent, be a voice for the voiceless, you know? Like. But I'm not sure that this is even Christ-like either, but 
I well, won't go there. Yeah, well, we're not asking you to do what we do. Mm -hmm. We're just asking you Good, to be brother. activated it's and not my, it's not my work to help make it illegal, right? Well, there has to be stipulations, but yes. Like what? Rape. Okay. When a, Why should a woman be stuck with a baby that constantly, every single day, every single minute, reminds that her of baby, probably the worst night of her life? That baby actually helps in the healing process. I know women who have been raped that have murdered their children. Because the only thing worse than being raped is after you're raped, you become a murderer, okay? And have you been raped before? No, I have not been raped, yeah, but I know, I, because I do this, I know lots of women who have been raped who have murdered their children afterwards, mm -hmm. and women who have kept their children afterwards. Mm -hmm. And I guarantee it, those kids that, that were born out of that rape are very offended when people like you think they should be murdered because it is God. I say think I, they should be. You totally misunderstood what I said. Well, you, if the mother wants to murder If the mother and, wants which to is a way of saying have an abortion, be then she, she should be to. You would make a stipulation. Right. You would make a stipulation where people could murder their children. And God hates that. He hates the hands that shed innocent blood. Is that child innocent? And who creates life? God. He says he is the creator. He yeah. knitted them in the womb. And he also allows Satan to, to do his his work he doesn't stop all of satan's work and uh when you were talking certain situations that's exactly what that is sure. god does allow evil to happen and it doesn't justify us committing evil you're justifying i'm not justifying against god. anything yes it is rebellion against god to murder somebody at, at any time there's no time when it's okay to murder people but you're saying in this circumstance it's okay to murder people but yeah, God says you it's said never let, okay to murder let's people, make a, so you're in rebellion against God. Yeah, so you're you need saying, to repent of that. Yeah. You're saying you're condemning okay, innocent we're people done to now. death. Okay, y'all have a good day, I guess. <laughs> All right. You're wrong, but okay. All children are created in the image of God, even rape children, ma'am, and we should not make an exception to kill rape children because they are innocent. Don't get me now. Thank you. They are, I had a nice conversation with you. I'm, I'm not... I'm not yelling at you, I'm raising my voice because you're farther away. So I, I wanted to make sure that you understand that God hates the hands that make, that um, shed innocent blood. We'll have to agree to disagree. Well, the, the problem is... y'all don't know what it's like. I do. It doesn't matter. You don't know what it's like. We have to follow God's law no matter what. I agree. And I no, you don't. I agree. No, you say it's okay to murder people in certain circumstances. Okay, thank you. Mm-hmm. All right, let's go.